Hey guys, welcome back to 100 Blocks at Sea. In this video, I'm going to take you through a tour of the fish room and the meat room on board. As you can see from this gauge, the vegetable room is maintained at 5 degrees Celsius, the fish room is maintained at minus 20 degrees Celsius, and the meat room is maintained at minus 19 degrees Celsius. These temperatures are quite freezing and you cannot stand in these rooms for long and wearing the jacket before entering these rooms is a must. In my previous video, you already had a look at the lobby and the dry provisions door. So this video is also going to be equally interesting. Make sure you watch till the end. We are now entering the vegetable room. Apart from vegetables, certain dairy items like eggs, milk, curd and creams are also kept here. And other items like atta, maida and such provisions are also kept here. The vegetables and fruits are sorted out in different baskets and they are arranged properly in the racks. There is a separate rack to keep milk, curd, juices and soft drinks so all those liquid items are kept in separate racks and some vegetables which are cut and prepped for cooking are also kept in this room. All the vegetables are usually arranged according to their shelf time so whenever we get a good load of vegetables the chief cook sorts them out according to their shelf life and those vegetables which are going to get spoiled first that is which has very less shelf time those vegetables will be used first and all other vegetables will be used much later during long voyages. Leafy items like spinach, coriander, mint etc has very less shelf time only about 2 weeks even when maintained at optimum temperature so these kind of leafy vegetables will be used first. Except for bananas all other fruits can be maintained for a good number of days so whenever we get bananas on board we finish them first and then we move on to the other fruits. Next let's move on to the fish room. Fish room is maintained at minus 20 degrees celsius so it's extremely freezing. You cannot enter this place without a jacket and a head cap and even if you are wearing all this you will still feel really really cold and you will not be able to stand there for long. Apart from all the raw fish, frozen vegetables, frozen snacks, french fries and other frozen meats are also kept here. Ice creams are also kept in this room so that they don't melt down. This box contains frozen cauliflowers. Frozen cauliflowers stay good even for 40-50 days when kept in this room. And when you enter this room, it won't feel like a fish room at all. You will not get any smell at all from all the raw fish that's present there. The temperature and the room is designed in such a way that none of the things here get rotten and also no smell is emitted from any of these items. Now let's take a quick look at some of the items in this room. The next room we are going to explore is the meat room. Meat room is maintained at minus 19 degrees celsius which is equally freezing. name says all varieties of meats are kept here chicken, mutton, processed meats, canned meats, cut meats and so on. All varieties of cheeses, buns and chicken starters like chicken nuggets, chicken popcorns, chicken poppers all these frozen meat items are also kept here. 
Sometimes we get fresh meat which is not processed packed in a cover so these meats are also frozen and kept here whenever we are making biryani we take these fresh meats cut it into pieces and then we make biryani out of it You guys might wonder if it's really healthy to keep eating such frozen stuff Of course fresh meats and live cut meats are always better but this is equally good and equally nutritious you're not going to get any side effects from eating all this because these are all maintained at the right temperature to maintain their nutritional value and to give good energy to the seafarers who works really hard on board The chief cook and the steward are also well trained and instructed to clean them properly to prep them properly and to cook them at proper temperatures so that we can bring out the maximum taste and the maximum nutritional value both from the vegetables and from the meats now you can take a quick look at all the items present in this room that's it for this video guys hope you enjoyed watching the vegetable room fish room and the meat room if you like this video do not forget to give a thumbs up and share it with your friends stay tuned to our channel and subscribe to it for more entertaining videos on sea life take care thanks for watching bye bye